Now, the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Temperatures remain above average today, significantly above average after being below average for several days. You can see here we've got generally high clouds out there. That's really about it. That's the general story looking towards the east and over downtown Boise. But when you look towards the west, this is the view from the village at Meridian. See how much uh, gloomier or grayer the skies look at mostly cloudy sky to the west. That's what we'll be moving in. So sunshine over Boise with some cloud cover coming in. Southeast breeze at 13. Hey, 72 degrees. It's tough to argue or complain about that. That is not bad at all. Take a look at what's happening across the rest of the region. It's 70 in Ontario, 58 degrees in McCall. We're getting some snow melt going on in the McCall area. You can see some patches of uh, well, piers, maybe grass, at least logs showing up, and the melting of the lake there uh, starting from the edges. 58 degrees a little while ago there. And up in the higher elevations, temperatures today warming significantly. So we're going to start to increase the snow melt and the flows uh, into our reservoir system will start to increase over the next couple of days, especially with rain coming in. Last the 24 hours to this. 24 hours. Uh, basically the 24 hour temperature change 16 degrees warmer in Boise than it was yesterday. So warmer all across the entire northwest. A nice change coming in and mild weather will stick around tomorrow, but it won't be like today because it'll be cloudy and it will be cooler. And by uh, the afternoon hours, we'll likely see some showers coming in. Here's that thicker cloud cover I was talking about coming in and there's even some showers. These are likely showers popping up there on the Harney uh, Malheur County line and these could track up towards uh, the higher elevations north and west of Weezer, maybe even Weezer some sprinkles and a shower possible in the mountains, but it is definitely mild overhead. That mild weather will continue to stream on in, but as we increase that cloud cover, that will make it feel a little bit cooler. And on the other side of the jet stream, it is definitely cooler. And here's all that moisture we're talking about. We'll get some showers tomorrow afternoon. We'll get more showers and then eventually as this jet stream comes overhead on Friday, some thunderstorms could develop. The wind is really going to start to crank up during the day on Friday as well. On the other side of the jet stream, it's much cooler over here. This chilly weather will start to work its way in as we go into the weekend. So the weekend is going to cool down and there's a good chance with some showers on Saturday. It will be a much cooler weekend. Instead of being 72, it will be 52. So a 20 degree temperature change coming into the weekend. So just keep that in mind. The question is how much moisture is the Treasure Valley going to get? Some charts show numerous showers on Friday. Others tend to keep those showers in the mountains. Let's take a look at tomorrow afternoon first. Cloudy throughout the day. In the afternoon, a good chance for showers here in the western part of the state and eventually sliding towards the eastern part of the state a little later on. Now we push ahead to Friday and you'll see that generally it was, well, I didn't really put a pause in there. We're looking all the way into Saturday. There was a lot going on in the mountains, but not as much in the Treasure Valley and it will get colder. There'll be snow flying up in the mountains during the day on Saturday, but between Friday and Saturday, there could be some appreciable moisture in the central mountains and some scattered showers in the Treasure Valley. So the breezes are going to be up as well. We'll have breezy conditions tonight, a little bit of a breeze during the day tomorrow, and then on Friday everything starts to shift towards the west. This is a southwest wind aloft. Look at these gusty breezes here. These are sustained winds and that will bring some strong gusty winds and cooler temperatures starting Friday night. That'll be the big change. So here's my exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. Generally cloudy in the morning and a mild start to the day. Some showers during the afternoon with temperatures Temperatures again getting a little bit cooler tomorrow, only around 60 to 64, depending where you are in the Treasure Valley. The West Central and Boise Mountains, it will be cooler. More showers to the north. You'll see them up in this region here around the McCall area. Temperatures only in the 40s. Stanley Sun Valley, some late day showers on the Cameras Prairie. You might have a shower, probably just cooler in the 50s. Here's my extended forecast. Mild weather Thursday and Friday. Here come more showers on Saturday. Those would be the chilly rain showers. Staying cool for a couple of days, but then warming back up. Up. Next week, we go back up into the 60s as well, but snow comes back into the mountains. So the unsettled weather pattern continues with breaks. This in spring, the this winter, this spring. This pattern just won't, won't go wait. away. Well, I'm getting used to it. Yeah. President Trump sailed into 